Hi guys, welcome to today's Amazon Accelerator tip, the first in a two-part series on how to list items for sale on Amazon and then create shipments to send the items into Amazon. So once you've registered your account, you'll be brought to the following screen. Now to list inventory, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and go to the inventory tab, then we go down and we go to add a product. And it brings you to this screen. And right here, we have two options for listing a new product. One is this search menu here where we can go ahead and actually search the product name. If it is not listed on Amazon, what we can go ahead and do is we can go ahead and create a new product listing. Just to give you an idea of what a product listing looks like, it's one of these familiar Amazon pages that you guys will have seen if you've ever used Amazon. For the moment, I recommend that you don't go ahead and list new products, mostly because you may not know if the product's going to sell on Amazon. And there probably is a good reason why existing Amazon sellers haven't gone ahead and sold this product. So for now, we're going to focus on just selling existing products that you found to resell on Amazon. So the easiest way to do this is we need to scroll down. We need to go to the additional information box. We need to grab the product's ASIN number. So we copy this number. We take it like this. We go back to our Amazon page. We just paste it into this search box and we hit search. And from here, we see that Amazon has a listing found for it. We just need to make sure that this is the same listing as the actual product that we found to resell. Once we're sure that this is the correct product, we then go to sell yours. And this brings us to the next page. And from here, what we need to do is we need to just enter in some details of the product that we intend to sell. So the first thing we need to do we need to tell Amazon what the condition of the item is. This is obviously fairly crucial. And if we're selling a secondhand item and we list it as new, we don't want to get that wrong because customers would be disappointed when they purchase that product and you'll most likely receive negative seller feedback. So we'll just assume for now you're selling new. The last thing we need to do is we need to advise Amazon what selling price we wish to sell the item at. Amazon automatically displays the lowest current selling price along with any applicable shipping costs. If we hit the match total price button, this will automatically calculate the lowest total current listed price. Alternatively, you can select your own higher or lower price. The last step we need to do is advise Amazon who is going to ship the product to the customer once the item has been sold. For most of you, I'm going to assume that this will be through the bottom link i.e. fulfilled by Amazon. Once we hit save and finish, we get taken to a screen where we get to confirm what terms we wish to enroll into the fulfilled by Amazon program. This includes whether we wish to accept or allow Amazon to label our products for us, as well as going ahead and enrolling into the co-mingled inventory or alternatively whether we wish to use our own FBA labels to make sure that all our inventory is individually labeled. After we've made our selections, we can then go ahead and click the review selections panel. Once you've done that, you just hit confirm selections. This leads us to another confirmation page where we just need to confirm that we wish to send inventory to Amazon. Once we've hit send inventory, this brings us to a final page where we just need to input some details about where we're sending the products from. So the name of the company, the address, and then once we've done that, we can go ahead and click ship from this address. If there's any issues, Amazon will let us know. And then we finally just need to confirm the address. So what will happen next, guys, is you'll be taken to this screen where you can go ahead and actually commence completing your shipment plan ready to send in items to Amazon. 
Now guys, if you have more items that you want to send into Amazon, what you'll need to do is you'll actually need to go into inventory and add product. So you will need to add them in one at a time. If you have items that you've previously added to your inventory list, so if that's the case, what you can do is you can go ahead and search your existing inventory list and add a product to your shipment. So you can see once we've added all our products, this will now appear in our shipment plan. This brings me to the end of my first video on how to list inventory on Amazon. Stay tuned for my next video, which will show you how to create a shipment and send it off to Amazon. Thanks for listening and happy selling.